Hey YouTube fans, it's Adventures of Dad in Malibu today. We're at a special place, the Tampa Police Department. What brings us here today is their museum. We've got the Tampa Police Department Museum. It's just a little hidden treasure here at the uh, headquarters at uh, 411 North Franklin Street. I'm going to take you in and we're going to take a quick look. When you come in, you can obviously see you can buy and purchase stuff here at the museum. They've got a multitude of different things, but they're more than willing to sell to the public. So please come in, check them out. You get all kinds of neat stuff. Coffee mugs to hats, to notebooks, anything you would like. And uh, they got friendly staff here. You can start out. See some of their police cars and pictures of years gone past. It's a really cool museum. I recommend you guys come in and see it. This is the Andy Wade Memorial Wall. These are old photos and fingerprints that Andy put together years ago. And this wonderful collection that he uh, donated to the Tampa Police Department many years ago. It's been around for a while now. This is one of the uh, first Dodge Diplomat police cars. Still well maintained. What they have here is they have a great vast museum of history. Stuff you can look at. Old photos of days gone by over the years. have all the old machines and typewriters. This is the way they used to do measurements back in the day. Your head, you get your fingerprints and mug shots and measure your different sizes of your head. So it's a lot of science going by, a lot of things that they don't use anymore. But uh, good chance just Come by and see some of this stuff. It's just amazing. They have a great collection. They have the old police call box on the wall. It's the old jail cell doors. And just work your way around. These old t-shirts. Got memorabilia. Front end. When you walk in, it's very vast. You can spend some time here. Just look at each and every corner. Got the batons of years going by, old police jackets, old nightsticks, red shackles. They got some bobby hats from England. That's the uh, TPD, TPD rank structure. All the way up to sergeant. TPD uniforms. Here's a special black history collection. Uh, different African American officers and chiefs of police. Years gone by. Some great people here that you'll see. You got the old light bars. Years gone by. You can see how they progressed. You got the LEDs. That's what they call the SPIV. They used to patrol around Franklin Street with us downtown. Got more history, more pictures. The old computer systems, how they started, what they went to. All the radio systems they used back in the day. Captain Carter. Another really cool photo here, back in the 60s. The city of Tampa was established July 15, 1887. A lot of history. One well, of the bomb robots. It's pretty cool. 
remotely hand operated bomb helmets look at that thing is that crazy or what that glass and they have one heck of a dive team here uh, Tampa Florida is Tampa is just surrounded by water on three sides and so they have a very excessive dive team and this is one of the dry suits the divers use here in display at the museum. This is real unique. Some of the confiscated weapons they have on display from years gone, past. Some of these used were crimes. Some are TPD guns. There's an old Tommy gun. So this is TPD number 20. So it was actually a police officer issued weapon back in the day. They had a really cool memorial room also. Uh, John McCormick was the first Tampa police officer assassinated and killed in the line of duty September 26, 1895. And they have a replica of his gravestone here. It's uh, actually located at Oaklawn Cemetery where I did my cemetery blog. If you want to look for that, I'll try to put the link in the description. You can go back to that. I mean, this is a memorial room. It's kind of the special room. These are all the officers. And they're honored here. These are the fallen officers. Oh, killed in line of duty. So it is also a place of reflection for those who give the ultimate sacrifice for the city of Tampa. And we're grateful for them. Each and every one of them are heroes. So thank you to them and the sacrifice. They'll never be forgotten. It's more the display of uh, the fingerprints, mug shots. Those are just amazing. Here's an old shot. Yeah, the Taylor Police Force in the 1900s. It was a 1974 used 300 helicopter. These are bell driven engines and they would fly, they would patrol. This one obviously is out of service. It's done its time. Some pictures of the bomb squad. Another history. SWAT members. And we have a special place here for the John F. Kennedy uh, Memorial. Kind of when he came into Tampa in 1963, November 25th. Uh, Tampa police officers escorted him prior to his assassination in Dallas. He was here in Tampa. So that's kind of cool that they mention that. Some old equipment, old hats, badges. Some of the old Tampa police uniforms, old lockers. I love the badge collections. I do collect badges, so these are really cool, a little different range structure. And these were all donated to the museum. This is a collection here. Like I said, if you get a chance, come on out, 411 North Franklin Street, to the Tampa Police Department Museum, and uh, give them a visit. And love to have you come by and check it out. Pick up some t-shirts and memorabilia to see some of the history, and I uh, thank you.
for joining me on this vlog. from Tampa, Florida, Adventures of Malibu and Dad. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.